Controversies continue over civilians trying to stop crime in New York City. The latest example, employees at a deli in Queens taking action against a customer who they say was, quote, drunk and, again, their words, acting stupid. After they handled him, that customer is now in critical condition and the worker is now facing criminal charges. I would assume reporter Stefan Kim on the scene. He's in the Rockaway section. Stefan. Well, Bill, they say he was drunk, but it's still not clear what started this argument to begin with. That's the deli where this altercation happened along busy Beach 116th Street. Almost anyone you talk to out here says the deli workers were just doing their jobs, but that's not what prosecutors say. They're sweet people, you know, they, they don't hurt a fly. Yeah. I never saw them ever get angry. Local business owners and residents along Beach 116th Street and Rockaway Queen say cops charged the wrong men. Investigators say two employees at Pickles and Pies Deli assaulted a 31 year old customer Sunday around 5 a.m. That man suffering a seizure. Hospital workers will determine if the medical episode was a result of the earlier assault. But those two workers, 23 year old Jorge Hernandez, arraigned this morning and charged with strangulation, assault, and harassment. And 34 year old Sabir Abuhamra charged with assault. Assault and harassment. In Rockaway, though, they're not the bad guys. They should not be charged at all. They, they, they defended the store. Yeah. And plus, they protected themselves at the same time. Prosecutors, though, say the victim, James Kina, was punched and pushed, causing him to hit his head on a counter, then fall to the floor. Then placed in a chokehold by Hernandez. Abuhamra then allegedly punched and kicked the customer in his head and stomach as he was being held by his neck for several minutes after he lost consciousness. According to the criminal complaint, the victim was placed on life support because he could not breathe on his own. He arrived at the hospital in critical condition. No, not a surprise at this corner, no. Others around here who know nothing about the assault say in general the neighborhood at times can be sketchy. Police are supposed to be patrolling here yeah. like quite regularly now because of there's a high, high area of crime. It could have been homeless person going in there that they're all over the place and they just they sleep wherever they want. Yep. They think they can do what they want and it's you got to watch your back. Now, bail was set for the defendants at $30,000 cash. They're due back in court on June 16th. The victim's family, by the way, who have not been in touch with him for over a decade, declined to comment. The investigation is ongoing.